Good day grade elements. Welcome to our last lesson in week 8. In this lesson we're going to be talking about bond energy and bond length. Now we've actually mentioned it before when we spoke about how, how two hydrogen atoms bonded and we spoke about a little graph which I'm about to show you. There it is. And how when the atoms actually came closer and closer together they started at this point here it was ideal, the force of attraction and the force of repulsion were perfectly equal and cancelled each other out and then as the atoms moved closer together so the energy required to keep them together got higher and higher and higher because of the fact that there were forces of repulsion. Do you remember that? We did that a couple of lessons ago. And remember I said to you that then what happens is the atom sets back down, the molecule sets back down to this perfect point where the force of attraction and the force of repulsion between the electrons and the protons in the two atoms are totally cancelled out and we have the perfect place for where the molecule it will be at its lowest energy and that energy there would be called the bond energy and the distance between the nuclei of the atoms is called the bond length. Okay, so we have know that and we've learnt it already. So let's get a little bit more specific about our definitions. So bond length is the distance between the nuclei of two adjacent atoms when they bond. Okay, the distance between the nuclei. Bond energy is the amount of energy that must be added to the system to break the bond that is formed. But please note there's also the amount of energy that is needed to break that bond if you ever want to break it again. Okay, bond strength is how strongly one atom attracts and is held to another. So bond strength is dependent on a couple of things. First of all, the bond length, okay? The shorter the bond length, obviously then the closer the bond, I mean the atoms are to each other and therefore the stronger the bond is between the atoms. The size of the atom. The smaller the atom, the stronger the bond. That makes sense because the smaller the atom, the shorter the distance between this atom and the other atom's nuclei are. Okay, right? So obviously the bigger the atom, the longer the bond length and the smaller the atom, the shorter the bond length. So the smaller the atom, the stronger the bond, right? The number of bonds. The more bonds that exist between the same atoms, the stronger the bond, which makes sense. Okay, if you're holding on with lots of your arms and your hands and your feet and everything, then obviously you've got a very strong bond. But if you're only holding on with one tiny finger, then you're not going to have a very strong bond. Okay, so the more bonds, in other words, double bonds and triple bonds that exist between the same atoms, the stronger the bond. And that is all you need to know at the moment between about bond length, bond energy and bond strength. So please make sure you understand this because we are going to be asking you questions on this in the assessments. Have a great day.